So for most of Oklahoma this year, we've had a lot of rain, and, and in some parts we've had just continuous days of rain. Now with rainy weather, you sometimes get some diseases that we don't often see, and one of those is what we call uh, rain scald or rain rot that you'll see in the skin of cattle and other animals as well. This is caused by an organism called Dermatophilus congolensis. Interesting name, uh, Dermatophilus it means skin loving, and congolensis comes from the military veterinarian from Belgium that was in the Congo in 1915 and discovered this disease, so we named it congolensis for Congo. When there's this continuous rain and moisture and you get this continuous wetting of the skin, eventually that skin barrier will break down and this organism will take advantage of that and start to grow. What you will see is <coughs> little circular lesions, uh, kind of rough areas of hair. We sometimes see this hair kind of tough up, almost like a paintbrush look, and you'll get some scabbing or crusting on top of those. If you pull one of those off, you'll see a very reddened area and maybe even some pus in those areas. Sometimes uh, these crusts can also be mistaken for uh, warts when they're not. You also can get large numbers of these that will just make almost a, just a large area of crust on, on the body of these animals as well. These crusts will eventually separate from the skin and you'll see just a bald spot on these animals, little circular bald spots afterwards. Uh, Usually it's not a, a serious disease, and on rare occasion we'll have some animals that have some severe problems with it. And if these lesions happen to get on the udder or teats, you'll these calves will have problems nursing because the mothers won't want it because of the pain it causes. Uh, this organ is transmitted by direct contact between animals and also biting insects will also transfer this organism to other animals. We diagnose this based on clinical signs and also a lot of times we'll just take a what we call an impression smear, where we'll take a microscope slide and just touch that lesion or that area that's underneath that, those crusts. We'll stain it, look under the microscope, and we'll see these neat little uh, circular cells. They line up and we call them railroad tracks. Other ways it can be diagnosed is through culture or uh, histopathology. As far as treatment goes, uh, if it gets warm and dry, these a lot of times will just spontaneously go away. If they don't, uh, usually antibiotics are very effective in uh, treating this disease. Uh, again, you can use antibacterial soaps or, uh, or uh, uh, shampoos to, to kind of soften those crust up and clean those animals up as well.